on the couch today, we have a young lady by the name of Brianna, who you may have seen in the headlines. <laughs> she was a teacher. She was fired because of her OnlyFans career. And today we're going to be helping uh, introduce her to the world of actual <laughs> pornography. So Brianna, yeah. welcome to the couch. Hi. I have so many questions. Excited. I'm so curious about how everything happened. Absolutely. So where, where did this all go down? Well, so I started in OnlyFans probably around May of this year. Um, and it was just like kind of slow. Um, and then I started creating like collabing with some other creators and but okay how long have you been a teacher when oh, you become okay. a teacher i've been a teacher for five years oh okay. yeah okay and you said you teach at the high school level yes and you teach english yeah so i've always taught high school english and yeah where uh, mm -hmm. are you from missouri missouri so i was teaching in st Clair, missouri i don't okay. think we've ever had anyone from missouri on this couch <laughs> i don't think so that might be a new one but okay, First. so your your teaching, you've been teaching for five years and you decided to start OnlyFans. Did it mm -hmm. occur to you that this would probably one day become something that would be a problem for the school? So, I mean, secretly, there are a lot of teachers that do OnlyFans. Yeah. Um, and I would say there's like a lot of people in different professions who do it and they try to hide it. Mm -hmm. I did my best. Um, I didn't show face for a long time. And then I also had an alias, like a stage name. Yeah. So I definitely did my best to try and And not, how, how not long did you known. survive undercover? Yeah. So probably like four months. Okay. And that's it. Not I did long. not expect do it. Do you know <laughs> what it was that tipped them off? I do. Um, I did a like an orgy scene with a couple of my like close creator friends. Um and my face was blurred on Twitter. My husband's was not. So that was probably part of it. So someone definitely recognized. I think it, yeah, it was it's definitely so the orgy risky video. With, with students and schools and just yeah. so many more people who might recognize you. Yeah. And there were a lot of, a lot of people saying or speculating that students were on my page. They weren't. So it came from an adult who ended up reporting it to the school. But yeah. It is like some people might be thinking, the school is being too strict. Teachers should be allowed to have an OnlyFans. But then as soon as you start talking about the orgy, I just don't <laughs> think the kids are going to be able to contain themselves when they know their teacher is doing an orgy. Now, may maybe doing stuff with your husband, just your husband. <laughs> I could kind of imagine the school tolerating that, but I, I don't orgies, see them tolerating orgies. Trains, glory holes. You did like, all that? Yeah. Really? In your first four <laughs> you months? Went in. You went <laughs> in. in four months. I, I knew so little about my <laughs> teachers on a personal level when I was in high school. And mm -hmm. I feel like Nothing. they did that on purpose yeah. because, you yeah. know, just they want you not right. to be distracted and yeah. it's about learning and all that. And then, you know, then they find so out. So I will say that I was always professional, like in the classroom. Yeah, of they course. They never, like students are so shocked because, I mean, I did my job when I was at my job. Um, but yeah, so students never knew, never saw it until an adult anonymously posted my link in like a community Facebook group. Oh. And then students started seeing it. So, wow. Fuckers. Yeah. Bullies. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Before we get deeper into like what happened with that, uh, Give us a little bit of the history of your freakiness. Like, are mm -hmm. you a person who would have been doing the orgies and the trains and whatnot, even if you weren't, yeah. even if you weren't making money off it on OnlyFans? Absolutely. Um, I mean, I've always been a sexual person. Um, I'm not like ashamed of it. And yeah, I've just kind of always been freaky. So I don't know my, I think my first orgy was on camera though. So Yeah. And with your husband, like, how did that mm -hmm. all work out? He was just like, yeah, let's do the OnlyFans thing and I'll be yeah. the dick in your scenes. Like, it's cool. <laughs> so he always encouraged me to do it. He was like, you would be successful. Uh -huh. We always kind of like joked about it. It was a joke. And then I didn't take it seriously until the last couple months. Um, and then he was like, we met, we, I mean, I guess some people like consider us swingers because we will be with others and that's what, what we do in our content. Um, and but you yeah. guys did that in your personal life before OnlyFans or no? No. No, so never. We okay. Mm -hmm. So you're learning about Our how first to time navigate was that on literally camera. literally on camera. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And did he get fired from his job? <laughs> okay. So not initially. Um, he got fired after he did a radio interview. <laughs> yeah. What job did he have? Yeah. So he was a lineman. So what he, is that? He builds like power lines. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. like, and so you, he you works... can't have sex on camera and build power lines. So it he seems got so he was fine for that, but a radio station wanted to talk to me, and then also him, and so he cleared it with his boss. 
to do the call. It was like a half an hour call on the radio. Boss said it was okay. And then the boss above him, I guess, finds out and then he's in trouble. Wow. So I can understand getting fired from being a teacher for the, the porn thing, but like, yeah, he's putting up fucking power lines. Like, you know, they, he, they said he, that he just would be too distracted and it couldn't be safe. I don't is, even know who puts it's up my power fair. lines. I it's would never fair. know anything about How that. How many people is he even working with at a single time while he's working mm-hmm. on some fucking power lines? It's like, mm-hmm. it's like two guys, right? It's like and three this is guys. Missouri. It's I'm like assuming there's not a lot of people. Um, it's it like is people, like a pretty big job in Missouri, but. Yeah. People aren't even allowed to have hobbies anymore, dude. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. It's just everyone's doing it's it. It's ridiculous. They're not doing it on camera. How did the process of you finding out that the students knew about it what, what was that mm. like because word travels fast in yeah. High school, right? yeah so after they posted that in the group students were immediately like all over my tiktok my twitter um and like not safe for work things at all and then um i'm not i mean can't tell if they subscribed or not because they can obviously use a fake name but yeah I, if i had to speculate i'm sure they're there so they were commenting oh, hilarious stuff on my Twitter. Um, Mrs. Coppage, can you please grade my assignment now? Like commenting that under my photos on Twitter. I'm like, so, <laughs> so that happens. And then what is it like the next day you can't show up to school or so, do you still go back? No, it was actually like that day I got put on leave. And that, not, that same night is when my link got posted. So like immediately you I was already fired. on leave. Yeah. Wow. And so then how does it become like front page news yeah. on all these blogs and different national yeah. news sources? The next morning, I guess um, like the local newspaper contacted me and said that they were getting anonymous tips. And mm. so I was like, well, do I like hide from this or do I just give them yeah, my but, story? Like, how were you feeling in that moment? Were you like devastated? Were you like second guessing mm. yourself? What was your thought process? Yeah. I was, <laughs> I so at, I don't know. At the beginning, it was like, holy shit, uh, this is really happening. Um, I definitely had some like panicky moments because that's tough. But I wanted them to have my story and and be able to like tell my side. So I was like, OK, we're just going to, you know, tell the truth and, and tell what happened. Um, and then more reporters started calling and more and more, and it's just kind of spiraled from there. Did you know that if you got caught, you were going to get fired? Or did you think Mm-mm. that maybe they would just turn the other cheek? So uh, I didn't, I don't think that if they could have kept it under wraps, maybe they would have, you know, said, just stop doing this. You can keep your job. But like, as soon as it hit the media, I don't think there's any way I could no. have gone back. And since it hit the media, I'm assuming you're making a lot more than when you initially got fired. Mm-hmm. So do you feel like, okay, well, that was worth it. Who cares? Like, cause I that do. job obviously did yeah. not pay as well as this job was. Yeah. Good exit strategy. <laughs> for sure. There's a lot of people that are saying I like planned this. I, I planned for this to happen. I'm like, I did not. Like I've been a teacher for five years. Um, and you went to school to become a yeah, teacher. Yeah, like I have so multiple it's... degrees for being a teacher. Um, I just started in OnlyFans for like extra money and fun. It was not, it was not, <laughs> it's yeah. not my exit, you know, my plan, but. Was it for fun or was it because you were just that horny that you just had this side <laughs> of yourself that you needed to explore? I mean, I definitely think horniness plays a part. Um, I've had so many experiences that I wouldn't have had before, like my first glory hole. And I have like video 